Yung una po, that would be your volume sa uh, indicator. So let me just clean this up so that we can see it a little bit better. No? So dito po yan. No? Una is uh, volumes. No? Insert indicators and uh, dito volumes the indicator. And just go back to volumes. Ayan, so volumes, volumes. And uh, once you have it, just click OK. You can change the color if you like. Um, but I suggest green and red already works. Okay, so you have uh, an indicator uh, like this below. So ano ba yung indicator na, kumbaga, paano ba niya nai-indicate yung volume sa market? No? Kasi um, yung stock market and the forex market are very different. No, Stock market, you can you know compute for actual volume. But for the forex market, masyadong free flow yung market. Hindi natin alam kung gano'n ba kalaki talaga yung volume na pumapasok at lumalabas. So, so especially that we have uh, you know kasi parang ano siya eh, um interbank market eh so hindi siya centralized uh, unlike your stock exchanges no? so it's decentralized so we cannot keep track of all the transactions that are going around so instead what we're using no to to track that is something called tick volume no ano ba yung ipig sabihin ng tick volume what is tick volume tick volume no tick t i c k ha tick yung tick po yun yung paggalaw ng market no, so ipig sabihin you have your, for example, GBP against the NZD. If it moves up or down, no, by any amount, no, kahit regardless of one pip ang inakyat niya, a couple of pipets, it doesn't matter, no. As long as umakyat siya or bumaba, that is called a tick, no. So, ang binibilang natin dito is that gano karaming beses gumalaw yung price at a particular time frame. So, if you take a look at, let's say, GBP NZD on the daily chart. Yung mga bars na makikita nyo dito sa ilalim, one candlestick is actually represented by one whole bar if you can check it out here. No? For example, ito yung current bar natin dyan. Tapos nandito po sa ilalim yung kanyang uh, volumes. No? So, yung makikita nyo po dito, it actually tells you how many times umakyat or bumaba yung price during that time frame. So within the day, kung mataas yung ano niya, no, kung mataas yung bar niya dyan, that, that tells you ang daming beses niyang gumalaw relative dun sa mga katabi niya. No? So you can actually see a, a value here, kung makikita niyo dun sa baba, you know, 76,326. No? And then you compare it to the lower ones, for example, this one, this is only 2,650. Uh, no? So, yan yung kumbaga ilang beses umakyat or bumaba yung price. No? So, since we cannot compute for actual volume, yung tick volume natin will be a substitute because it has very high correlation with the actual volume no? tested on other markets. So, yan po yung ginagamit nila. And one of the easiest to use is your volumes indicator. No? So, makikita po natin dito sa volumes indicator that they're actually just a bunch of bars no? that are higher or lower. Um, and then their peers. So, makikita nyo po na some bars are colored green and some bars are colored red. Kailan ba nagiging green yan or kailan ba nagiging red yan? It becomes green when your volume is higher than your previous bar. So, if we zoom in a little bit, notice that this previous bar, no, itong second to the last, yung value niya is 64,000. Yung next bar natin, yung value niya ay 76,000 na. Meaning, it increased from the previous one. If it increased from the previous one, it will be a green candle. If it decreased from the previous one, then it will be a red candle. So, ipig sabihin ko bumaba yung volume niya from the previous bar, then it would be colored red. So, if you notice, itong third to the last natin ng volume, it's colored green. Tapos yung susunod sa kanya, colored red. Kasi yung pangatlo, this is 68,000 and then on the following candle, it's only 64,000 bumaba siya. That's why it was colored red on the second to the last candle. Okay? Oh, sorry, second to the last bar. So, yan po yung ipig sabihin ng colors ng ating volumes uh, indicator. No, So, it's not really um, kung mataas ba siya ngayon currently or mababa siya ngayon currently. No, it's just, it just depends on its preceding bar. No, Kung mas mataas ba siya or mas mababa compared to the previous bar. Okay. So, with that, sige sir, naiintindihan ko na yung concept ng volumes ngayon. No? So, how do we actually use that in our trading plan? No? Now, your volumes indicator 
can tell you if there's a lot of trading activity, no? if there's a lot of volume coming in in the market. No? And most of the time, if you're a trader who likes to trade breakouts in the market, no? we would prefer breakouts with volume in them. No? Ipig sabihin, may laman yung breakout natin. No? So if you're doing a lot of breakout plays, it would be actually beneficial for you to check out the volumes indicator. If your volume is increasing no, or it's higher significantly than its peers, then it would tell you that there is volume in that trade. May laman yung breakout. No? And that would give you less chances of having a fake out. What's a fake out? A fake out is yung Kanwari, meron ko supports and resistances. Lumabas siya ng sandali, tapos bumalik. No? So that's an example of a fake out. So if we, you know, check out a, a couple of uh, areas over here, no? Ito medyo, medyo simple lang yung ano natin dito in chart. And let's look for an area with a lot of consolidation and then increasing volume. Dito tayo sa mga recent prices na lang. H1, para madali. Alright. So as you can see here, meron kang some sort of a very short uh, consolidation happening here. So, ipig sabihin, wala masyadong pinupuntahan yung price. And if you take a look at your volume here below, kita nyo napakababa, oh. Very, very low. Pero nung pumalo yung candlestick na to, this candlestick over here, this was obviously a breakout, no? From that consolidating area. So, after nung breakout na yan, kung mapapansin nyo, yung volume niya, is relatively higher than its peers, no? The volume here is around 4,722. And then yung mga nasa likod niya, no, yung mga prior to that 2700, ito 1000 lang. So maliliit, no. So this tells you that the volume was actually increasing on that end. And given that, tumuloy naman nga yung market pa oba, no. So it looks small here, but to be honest, that's actually a drop of around 70 pips. Okay? So that's not bad, no. That's a pretty good trade right there. Bumalik na lang din yung market diyan, but still, it was pretty it was a pretty good trade. Okay. Now, there are times na nagkakaroon ng fake out yung market, no? And uh, that happens a lot. So, wait lang, let's try to look for a, a nice looking fake out sa market. Ito wala, medyo maganda yung mga breakout plays recently. If, for example, you have a, you know, nice looking trend line over there. After a while, kita nyo, nag-break out siya sa baba, no? Tignan natin. Medyo nagkaroon ng increased volume, bumaba ng konti dito. But after a while, Kita nyo, the market broke out here, retraced back. Pag retraced back niya, no, tinuloy niya yung downtrend with continuous uh, increase in volume. So that was also, you know, another good factor that would determine na tuloy-tuloy nga yung price pa baba. No? I'm, I'm trying to look for a fake out. No? Uh, as of now, medyo nag-trend lang yung market pa baba. Eh. And there's also no very clear uh, fake out. Ayan. Any particular charts you guys want to, to see, by the way? Habang ano tayo? Para mas meaningful yung pag-scan natin. Uh, let's start with uh, EURUSD, AUD CAD. Alright, let's go with that. Sige, dito man tayo sa EURUSD. Uh, let's try a H4 chart or the D1 chart. Let's see how it looks like on the recent charts. Ayan, Okay. So for the recent charts, medyo simple naman tignan yung ano natin eh. Medyo simple tignan lang yung ating charts. You have some consolidations, no, recently ito. You have a very nice looking consolidation here. You also have a very nice looking consolidation there. And uh, nung time na nag-break out siya out of your consolidations, we can see that there is also increased volume. Ayun, kita nyo dito. Ang lina oh. You have a breakout play here. You also have increased volume. And from then on, tuloy-tuloy nga naman siya paakyat, no? Dito din, makikita nyo po, you have a very nice consolidation over here. There is increased volume. Dito pa lang, pag-breakout niya, if you compare it from the previous one, it's only at, ito mga ilang ba ito? 2,000, no? Tapos yung susunod, 6,000. No? So, sorry, 3,000 and then susunod, 6,000. So, you have a very nice increase in volume here, steadily increasing, tuloy-tuloy siya paakyat. Okay? So, so far, wala tayong, walang mapangit na fake out na binigay sa atin ng EURUSD. No? Let's try to look at it for on the M15 side kasi normally makakakita ka ng mga fake out saan eh. Sa M15, especially on the London Open. No? Diyan po madalas yan. Sige, just, let me just delete this, these ones so that we can check it out. 
Yan, tingin tayo sa M15, no? Alright. So, over here. Ayan, ito, ito. This is a very nice, uh, lot of uh, fake outs here. Ayan, so makikita nyo po. You have a very nice looking uh, consolidation over here. Tapos, after a while, nag-breakout siya dito sa baba. Okay. Ito, medyo siguro na ano tayo dito, no? We were fooled a little bit, no? You have a little bit of volume here. So, di ko lang alam, no? If you're going to take this trade, no? Since this is a neutral candle. But after a while, binawi niya, umakyat niya. Umakyat siya with increased uh, volume, no? So, tuloy-tuloy yung market, okay? So, nakikita niyo, kapag nag increase yung volume, normally price goes somewhere, no? Because that is the uh, precursor, no? For big price movements, okay? Let's also check out a couple of fake outs. Dito wala eh. Not much fake outs there. That are very obvious dito wala din. Let's take a look at the previous ones. La, not much, no? Alright, let's try uh, AUD CAD. No? May nag-request ng AUD CAD. AUD CAD. Okay, let's look at the H4 chart first. Uh, okay, very nice. So, uh, ito pala, yung current charts, no? Yung current charts natin look very dirty, no? So, on the H4, let's try H1. You'll probably see it a little clearer here. Okay. So, dito po, we have a little bit of consolidation over here. No, it doesn't look very clean. But, if you notice, upon breakout of that consolidation, yung mismo candlestick na to, this is where you see Increased volume. Ayan, okay, tang kita. You have increased volume with your breakout. And with that, now that tells you may laman yung breakout mo. And true enough, tuli tuli nga naman siya umakyat. No, it did retrace a little bit back to that old uh, resistance, no, which is now a new support. And then tumuli lang siya pataas. And right now, it's still showing you uh, increased volume, no, no mga dito sa panahon na to. But right now, it's uh, rapidly decreasing, no, yung pinakahuling candlestick niya. Asa mo babang bababa ni volume niya. All right. So nakikita nyo, are you able to see the significance of your volume pagdating ng breakouts? Na medyo na blend ba siya? Okay, I have a couple of ano, I have a couple of suggestions here as well. Try natin to cover yan mamaya, no? GU, uh, UJ and NCAD, no. Okay, question, if a breakout happens then high yung volume, execute ba ng order agad pag close ng candle like on the H4 chart? Okay, normally there's two ways to do that, no. If you want to be on the aggressive side, once the candlestick closes, you can already enter the trade. No? That's the aggressive way to do it. Normally, your stop losses are below the consolidation or uh, below the previous swing. Now, a safer way to do it is to actually wait for the market to come back to your old resistance. No? Let's say, paakit yung breakout niya. You wait for the market to come back to your old resistance and you let it use it as a new support. Tapos dun ka papasok. So if you notice over here, you have a breakout play there. After a while, bumalik siya dito. That could have been your entry kung nasa safe side ka before coming back up. No? So there's a couple of pros and cons there. Yung pros is that you get to enter normally at a better level than your breakout, initial breakout. So mas maganda yung pasok mo sa market. However, yung cons naman doon is fear of missing out. So may times talaga na naiiwanan ka ng market. Hindi siya bumabalik dyan, dire-diretso na siya pa yet, no? So you also have to accept, you know, that can happen uh, in case na yun yung play natin, okay? Exactly, breakout and retest. That's the safest way to do it. No? But if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, pwede naman pagpasok nung, nung breakout mismo, but you make sure na maliit lang yung, ano mo dyan, yung risk mo. So that, because you would normally have more bad trades no, if you do that, you do it that way. So hopefully I was able to answer that. Welcome. Oh, thank you for the question. I'm sure a lot of people also had that question with them. Uh, try natin yung ano, uh, GBP USD. No, someone's requesting for that. Let's try it out. GBP USD. Okay. So yung markets ngayon, medyo makalat ta kasi COVID season. Eh, but you know, let's, let's try to make the most out of it. All right. So over here, you also have... Uh, Quite similar no, to your EURUSD. They look quite similar. You have a very nice consolidating area right here. 
makikita nyo po that you have a very nice, uh, you have a breakout dito. Okay. You have a breakout there without any volume. So wala, probably we wouldn't have entered that. Pero lumipad na yung market from there. So probably we wouldn't have entered that. No? But yung breakout play natin, as mentioned before, bumalik siya. See? Took a little bit of a retest there. After it retested, nagkaroon ka ng increased volume. Ano dito? You have increased volume telling you na pwedeng tuloy-tuloy yung market pa akyat. Okay? So that's your analysis for GU. Sa ngayon, kita nyo wala. Medyo magulo yung GU natin ngayon. Eh. So no further analysis can be made from there. And lastly, USDJPY may nag-request. So sa USDJPY, let's take a look at H4 first. Sa H4 natin, medyo pangit yung levels. No? And uh, yeah, this one is maybe something we can check out. No, you have a very nice consolidation in this area. Makita nyo po, nagkaroon ng breakout dito. Oh, there's a nice breakout here. But if you notice, wala siyang volume. Okay? So, we wouldn't probably have taken that uh, trade. Kasi kita nyo, walang volume. Eh. So, that was a, you know, we were able to dodge a bullet if we used your volumes indicator. Huh? So, ngayon, bumalik na ulit yung market. Tando na siya. Uh, near the peak. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. Alright, so yeah, this is a very good example of a, of avoiding a fake out no, with your volumes indicator. Alright, so uh, any questions with volume? Simpleng simple lang naman siya. No, it's, it's not really hard to use, but it's just more of understanding what volume is for and how it really plays a part in your uh, trading plan. No? So I highly recommend this for traders who do a lot of breakout trades. Um, this could be an indicator that can help you a lot. If you're the type of trader who waits for bounces off of, you know, off of your supports and resistances, you can still use this, no, your volume indicator. If you can see that volume is increasing towards your direction, let's say kita mo umabot siya sa support, no, tapos kita mo nagre reverse na siya with other price action techniques, and in addition to that, may kita mo that there is increased volume, then that might be a pretty good, uh, you know, analysis to take using volume. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's move forward. Our next topic, no, is volatility. No. So let's talk about volatility. What is what's volatility? Volatility is you know to make it very simple. It's how much the market moves. No. It how much the market moves away from its average price range. No. So ipig sabihin merong kang average price kasi ng presyo, and then. Uh, Whenever the market shies away from that, no, that's volatility. No, kapag masyadong malayo yung inaabot niya away from the average, that tells you the market is very volatile. If the price stays just around that range, no, medyo malapit lang siya, that tells you that the market is not volatile. No, so hindi siya, hindi siya malikot. No? Now, one of the best indicators to use for volatility is your Bollinger Band. So, dito nyo po siya makita, no? Insert, Indicators, uh, go to Trend, and you'll be able to see here Bollinger Bands, no? Once you open that, you have a couple of settings there. At ano ba yung mga settings na yan, no? Basically, yung una dito, yung period na yan, it's actually just the moving average 20, no? Kaya nakasulat dyan, period 20, SMA 20 yan. And based on that, Meron ka ngayong standard deviations na ginagamit, no? So it has its own computation for standard deviation, but basically uh, from the middle line, no, yung period na SMA20 mo, magkakaroon ka ng two standard deviations sa taas at saka two standard deviations sa baba. At kung anong presyo noon will actually make up your upper and your lower bands. So if you click okay here, Makikita nyo po, na yan yung itsura ng ating Bollinger Bands. The line in the middle, that's actually your SMA20. Now, the line above, that's called your upper band, and that's your two standard deviations together with your MA20. Yung nasa baba naman, that's what we call your lower bands, and basically, those are two standard deviations below your um, middle line. So, kaya ka ngayon nagkakaroon ng tatlong linya. No? And, you know, as you can see, price is kind of enveloped inside those three lines. No? And based on those three lines, you can actually have a lot of types of analysis. No? So your Bollinger Bands basically show you 
if there's a lot of volatility in the market, kapag lumalayo yung upper band at saka yung lower bands. Because sinasabi nito that the standard deviation no is getting farther from the usual one. So that's why it's expanding. Ngayon naman, kapag nagko-contract yung ating Bollinger Bands, it, show, it shows you that there is less volatility in the market kasi lumalapit yung mga extremes natin. Okay? So that's, you know, the general concept of your uh, Bollinger Bands. So, paano ba natin gamitin ng maayos yung Bollinger Bands? Actually, there's a lot of ways to use it properly, no? Kaya it's one of the, I guess, most popular uh, indicators around. So, there's a couple of things that I'd like you to focus on no? dito sa ating Bollinger Bands. Number one is whenever your Bollinger Bands are very tight and, when, and they're very, either very tight sila, or very wide, no? Kapag wide po yung Bollinger Bands, it's kind of hard to trade, no? To be honest, no? Medyo wide. Kung wide yung Bollinger Bands, no? And you're looking for breakouts, mahirap mag-trade dyan. What we want to look for, if you're looking for breakouts, are something called Bollinger Squeeze, no? Yung Bollinger Squeeze, that is, whenever your Bollinger Bands are squeezed together and notice that price is also consolidating. So, hanap tayo na example, no? Kasi sa ngayon, medyo maano eh, medyo... Makalat yung market, very volatile, and it's kind of hard to find a, a nice-looking Bollinger squeeze here. So this is a very good example of a, of a Bollinger squeeze. This happened back in uh, Feb, no? So mga panahong Feb yan. Kung makikita nyo, yung ating standard deviations, very close to each other. So you actually have a very nice consolidating market there. Now, after that, makikita nyo po that your price closes outside of your Bollinger Bands. Okay? Ayan, dito banda. Uh, this is, you know, where it becomes quite clear. Kung makikita nyo, your price actually closes outside of your Bollinger Bands. And at that time, yan ang ating breakout play when it comes to your Bollinger Bands. It tells you that the market has squeezed already and inevitably, puputok yung market somewhere. No? Yan ang normal na nangyari sa Bollinger Squeeze. Eh. Parang uh, ang market kasi parang spring. no? If you coil it very tightly, mas malakas yung snapback niya. So this one, it was very, you know, it was coiled very tightly for uh, quite some time. no? I think more than a week. And then eventually, it has to uh, break out somewhere. No? So makita natin, if price crosses, I sorry, closes above your uh, Bollinger Bands, then that tells you there's a breakout to the top side. No? If you're price closes below your Bollinger Bands, tell, that tells you there's a breakout to the downside. No? Kindly remember, this can only happen if you have a Bollinger Squeeze prior to that. Okay? Malinaw? Is this clear? So this was a pretty good uh, Bollinger Squeeze trade. And malinaw, ma, malinis na malinis tignan yan. No? And USDJPY actually went up for as much as 200 pips, 220 pips halos. So that was a pretty good trade. Given na yung uh, stop loss natin, siguro nandito banda. Our stop loss would have been around 70 pips. So if you're targeting 1 is to 2 risk reward ratio, 140, dito pa lang out na tayo sa market. Okay? And from there, no, wala pa namang masyadong significant na Bollinger squeeze tayo nakikita. Ito, ito. There's a little bit of a Bollinger squeeze here. If you take note of that. And, okay. So after that Bollinger squeeze, you would notice that price closes outside of your, and dito, price closes outside of your uh, Bollinger Bands, telling you that there's a breakout to the downside. And true enough, bumabanga naman siya. No? Diba? Tuloy -tuloy siya. Now you can also combine this with your uh, volumes indicator, kung mapapansin niyo po. No? Since you're doing breakout plays with the Bollinger Bands, uh, pwede yan. Okay. Now, an addition, uh, you know, uh, additionally, if you're using stop losses for this one, isa sa mga pinamagandang stop loss is you can also trail it using your uh, MA20. No? Kung medyo gusto nyo sumusunod kagad yung, moving, uh, yung stop loss nyo, medyo dynamic. Normally kasi yung stop loss nyo nandito, and then just based on, you know, how many pips you're your trade is, your risk is, yun yung ating reward. No? So if this is around 82 pips yung risk natin, then our target should be around 160. Now in this case, hindi siya umabot. No? 120 lang yung pinakamababang inabot niya. No? So you can do a couple of things. No? 
uh, to to secure your profit. Number one is pwede nyo po gamitin yung MA20, yung middle line. If your price crosses beyond your middle line, pwede mo nang i-close yun. So at this point, dito na-close yung trade, we would have gotten only around 34 pips from there. Pwede na. No, that's not so bad. Pwede rin naman pag umabot na ng 1 is to 1 yung trade mo, meaning if you're risking 80 pips, you already get 80 pips na positive, pwede mo nang ilagay yung stop loss mo sa break even. No? Just in case balikan, wala kang talo. Okay? So those are two ways to manage your stop loss if you're using breakout plays with your Bollinger Bands. Okay? All right. Any questions so far? Doon sa Bollinger Squeeze natin? Before we uh, move a little forward? Okay. Okay, wala naman. No? So normally, pag nagkaroon ka ng breakout play sa, ano mo, sa Bollinger Bands mo, ang sinusundan mo, kanwari, it's to the downside siya, yung band dito sa ilalim. No? Yung distance between your lower band and the middle band, if price is you know, trading there, uh, that tells you tuloy-tuloy pa rin naman yung downtrend. No? Once it crosses above that, 20 line, medyo hindi na masyado. Okay? Alright. So, next up, is Bollinger Peers. No? Ano naman yung Bollinger Peers? Bollinger Peers, ito naman yung reversal play natin when it comes to Bollinger Bands. No? So this is not a breakout play. This is more of a reversal play. So ang ginagawa natin dito is that we actually wait for the market to expand. Makikita mo yan normally sa malalaking expansion. The, for the market to expand. And then when you, whenever you see a nice pin bar doon after the expansion. No? May pin bar ka that pierces outside of the bands and then the price comes back in. That is called a Bollinger Pierce. Let me show it to you on uh, on your M15 charts kasi madalas nakikita din yan sa M15 on your day uh, pag nagde-day trade kayo. No? So actually, pag nagde-day trade ako, madalas uh, Bollinger Pierce ang Ang hinahanap ko, no, I look for market reversals during London Open uh, since you do see a lot of reversals there. Alas 3, alas 4 ng hapon, alas 5. So, alright. So, looking at this, no, you actually have a very nice market coming down here. Uh, around this time was a London session. Okay. So, kung makikita nyo, you have a couple of pierces here. Delete natin. Ayan. So, meron kayong very clear-looking pierce at this area. So, that could have been a very nice Bollinger pierce. So, ang trade entry natin would be this area right there. Ayan yung entry natin. Yung stop loss naman po natin would be below that pierce. So, dito yung stop loss natin banda. Give it a little bit of breathing room. Uh, if you're trading on lower time frames, Maybe 10, 15 pips, that's okay. Depende sa pair na ginagamit nyo. So in this case, sabihin natin, it's around the, ito, 15 pips yung ating stop loss. No? Gawin na natin 20 para may konting breathing room. Okay. And then from there, we target 1 is to 2. So umabot dito, 40. No? Umabot nga hanggang 60. Umabot 1 is to 3, no? maximum. So that's a nice looking Bollinger Pierce right there. No? So that's for market reversals. Dito, wala masyadong nakitang reversal. But uh, over here, wala ding masyadong clear na Bollinger Pierce. Okay. This one might have fooled us. No? Ito, medyo magandang Bollinger Pierce. We probably would have sold here. But uh, the market hit our stops dito. No? So we have one good trade, one bad trade. Uh, dito, I have a couple of ones. A very nice Bollinger Pierce here. After a while, the market comes down. Diba? Ang ganda tignan, no? After a while, may nakikita kayong pin bar ulit dito, diba? Nice Bollinger Pierce there. Market recovers a little bit. No? So those are two good trades. Dito, wala ka masyado. Ayan, this one is a nice Bollinger Pierce. Market goes down here. Dito sa baba, wala ng Bollinger Pierce. So yan na yun. No, that's, a, <laughs> that's all the trade you can get from there. Nakikita nyo? Are you able to uh, see it properly, yung mga pierces natin? So basically, the idea there is price goes out of your, ano, of your Bollinger Bands. No? Ideally, 
uh, dapat malaki yung range ng ano ng ating Bollinger Bands no or pwede rin yan if you're doing intraday trading you can also use that during market open no London Open US Open yung mga ganyan uh, normally you would see a lot of volatility during that time and uh, you know your Bollinger Pierces could be a good precursor uh, for you to enter the market no okay all right so yun po ang ating uh, you know, two ways to trade your Bollinger Bands. No? So you already know how to trade it using breakouts. And at the same time, you also know how to use it for swings, no? yung bounce place naman natin sa, sa market. All right. So hopefully, no, those two um, concepts that we tackled today, number one, yung volume satin, no, can help you trade with your breakouts. No? Alam na natin kung paano gamitin yung volume indicator. And then number two, alam na rin po natin kung paano gamitin ng maayos yung Bollinger Bands. No? Pa bakit ba talaga lumalabas yung tatlong linya na yan? What do they actually do? And uh, you know how we can incorporate volatility in our trading, no? especially for both breakout trades as well as yung mga ano natin, bounce plays natin. All right? So I guess that's pretty much it. No? Uh, are there any questions? I don't want to take too much of everybody's time. All right. Uh, any questions, Muna, with Bollinger Bands? No, may mga ibang questions dito. Uh, okay, so wala naman masyado for for everyone. All right. So uh, yeah, I hope that was a uh, that was helpful for for everyone. No? Okay, so sagutin ko lang tong ano, sagutin ko lang to, may topic ba for swing trader kung ano maganda gamitin ng indicator? Well, <laughs> Swing trading kasi is uh, medium term trading eh. So kumbaga it encompasses a lot of uh, a lot of different strategies, no? So ang siguro mas magandang tanong is what are the types of strategies that can be used for uh, a swing trader, no? I suggest if you're doing swing trading, um, you can look for market structure first, no? So tingnan mo yung market structure. If you like to do Elliott waves, pwede yan wave counting ka. Uh, you can, if the market is ranging, pwede ka mag-harmonics ng konti. Um, so you can also add a little bit of fundamental analysis para may direction ka sa market. No? Kasi if it's medium term trading, fundamental analysis would also uh, you know, have an impact with that. No? So all those factors that I mentioned earlier would give you a general direction in the market. No? Uh, next with that, I suggest that you Keep it simple, no? Stick with price action. Check mo yung mga short-term trend changes. Look for supports and resistances that can add to that, no? After nun, no, once you confirm it with your price action, saka pa lang papasok yung mga indicators natin. So the indicators that can help you with that, no, are probably momentum indicators. So your momentum indicators can help you greatly uh, if you're looking for divergences. Kanwari, naghahanap ka ng reversals, no? or chine check mo yung momentum ng market kung paakyat yan or pababa no so your RSI would be of great help there your MACD would also be of great help there as well as your stochastic so yung mga pinag-aralan natin prior okay so yan yan yung mga makakatulong sa inyo but you know in the end it depends on the type of strategy that you're using so marami namang strategies that's just one of the uh, you know some of the strategies that that we can use all right uh, i hope i was able to answer that Uh, saan maganda sa Bollinger Band? M30? Wala namang particular time frame. No? Uh, it works for D1, H4, H1. Wala namang problema. No? Personally, I like it sa M15 kung intraday trading. Pero kung medyo medium term, swing trading, uh, H4 ang ano natin, ang tingin natin. H4, D1. No? Pero more on H4. Uh, Naka-record ba ito and posted sa Pafti? Yup. Doon sa website. Uh, next is harmonics or oh, harmonics. What do you mean by harmonics? Is there a question there? All right. Ayan. So yes, recorded po siya. It's recorded. That's a website po, Pafti. Okay. Ano mga questions? So, uh, sir, anong, sir, maganda na maaga mas focused kami. 
Oh, ako, oh, mas, oh, ako nga din eh. Mas okay kasi hindi ako nagugutom. <laughs> Ang hirap no 8.30, gutom ako. <laughs> Kahit tayo, inaantok na nun eh. So, actually, 7 o'clock is better. Mas mabilis nga tayo makaabsorb eh. So, I, I think it works better now. Um, for those who are not familiar, no, marami nang tatanong kung may recording. Uh, you can find it here. Uh, okay, Avramis River questions. Sige. So, you can find it here for those who are ano, uh, not familiar with the recordings. Nandito po yan sa website natin. No? Alam ko yung mga iba dito naka-register na. Yung iba din, Pafti Premium. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga sumusuporta. Um, so, it's here, Pafti.ph. You can find it there. Um, meron po dito ang education. You go to Pafti Courses. And once you open that, makikita nyo po ito. Wait lang, open ko na. And for our Pafti courses, you'll be able to see our intro and uh, MetaTrader videos. Uh, yan po, free yan. No? If you register, lahat kasi pag nag-register tayo, you're automatically a free member and you get access to uh, the intro and the MetaTrader uh, videos. No? Uh, I would encourage everyone to support Pafti and go for premium membership. Yung premium membership, it's very cheap actually. It's only one five per year. No? Per year na yun ha. Buong taon yun. Uh, it's more of like your association dues as a member of Pafti. And uh, with that, you get a lot of perks. Number one, meron tayo yung advanced courses natin. So yung mga recordings natin, andito lahat yan. Okay? So you have a lot of stuff there. Um, next is yung market analysis. Meron din po tayo yan. Plus meron tayong uh, session, weekly session with Mr. Alex Samson every Monday. So kumbaga kung ano yung mga nakikita niyo pwedeng i-trade for the week, you know, stuff that can happen for the week. Um, uh, inaano niya doon, no? dinidiscuss niya doon. Actually, yung analysis naman yun, it, sa amin din, kumbaga kami, kami din yung nag-analyze. No? So there, there's a lot of uh, thought that's put into that. Uh, next to that, meron din tayong telegram group no? that can give you daily updates. No? Nasaan ba yung, uh, saan ba tayo pwede pumwesto ngayon, no? etc. Et there, there's a lot of perks there. All right. So, uh, by the way, there's also a lot of things that are upcoming. No, uh, We're looking at uh, a little bit of celebration sa PAFTI. And uh, just wait for our updates. We have a lot of very interesting stuff that are coming in, uh, like raffles for everyone. Um, we might be looking into a trading competition. It's a friendly lang naman, no? So, uh, ano lang, it's a more of a fun thing, really. Then we got we get a lot of prizes for everyone. No? Plus, if you're not familiar with our ano, yung mga naghahanap pa ng live accounts, you can always open one with uh, our partners. No, nandito po yan, brokers. I highly suggest that you go with XM. Ito po yan, no? So you go with XM, and uh, once you're here, makita nyo po na you can open a real account here. Tapos yung real account po na nandyan is it gives you $3 rebate for every lot that you trade. So actually, pag dumiretso pa kayo dun sa XM na website, wala kayo nun. But if you go through Pafti, uh, it's part of uh, our perks no, as a Pafti member. Alright. So yan po. No? Uh, yung question regarding Avramis River. Yung question regarding Avramis River, ano ba yun? It's an indicator coming from Tradepedia. Uh, and uh, meron tayo exclusive partnership with Pafti that we can actually uh, give it to our members. No? So ang Avramis River, nandun din sa advanced courses natin yun. You'll be able to see how to use it there. And uh, to be able to access it, normally kasi may bayad yan pag dumaretso ka Tradepedia. But with XM, it becomes free. Ang kailangan lang nun is a certain deposit from uh, from you. No? So once you open an account with us sa Pafti, yung link na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, um, you can deposit $200, that's the light version. You can deposit $500, that's the advanced version. Um, I suggest you go for the advanced one kasi maganda yun. Yung kung paano siya gamitin, uh, nandun naman sa ano, nandun naman sa advanced courses din natin. No? So, once you deposit, you can message me or you can message yung live chat natin sa XM. Sabihin nyo na, uh, you're interested to get the Avramis River, that's why you deposited, etc. etc. No. Kung may problem naman, just message me, I'll, I'll take care of it. Okay. So, yun siya. Uh, by the way, I'll also might be conducting a session with Avramis River, how to install it. Kasi maraming nagtatanong din kung paano siya i-install and uh, you know, paano din siya gamitin ng, ng maayos. So, we might have a session this coming week regarding that. All right. Uh, I I forgot to mention, no. 
yung Pafty Premium will also be adding an additional perk. Uh, yun, medyo mabigat yun. Yung perk na yun is that we'll give you weekly analysis. Kasama na dun yung economic data. So, yung mga naghanap na economic data, meron yan. Uh, we might launch it probably a week or two weeks' time. So, yun, you can, you can have that, no? It's a premium membership economic data. If you're looking for more economic data, try um, trading economics. You know, isa sa mga pinakamagandang sourcing, sources. Ayan, salamat dun sa kay Sir JP for Avramis River contact your account manager. Oh, mas maganda sa account manager. If you're trading with XM, no, under PAFTI, tandaan nyo lahat kayo may account manager sa. Someone that can actually help you step by step. Yung rebate automatic ba mag-deposit sa account? Uh, yep, automatic po yun. All right, so I guess that's pretty much it. And anyway, yung economic data na yun, it was actually one of the things that were requested. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, throughout our sessions, ang dami nang message meron bang economic data, meron ba economic data. And that's why we were actually going to add it sa PAFTI Premium na rin. So, yeah, if you guys have any more suggestions, sabihan nyo lang kami. Uh, yung next batch of, ano natin, of uh, webinars natin will be posted very soon. Uh, I'm not sure kung ako mag-handle or si Sir Alex Samson na mag-handle. It's either, either of us. Tapos yung topics, if finalized na lang namin, we'll launch it by mga Tuesday siguro may listahan na tayo ng topics for the next few webinars natin. Kasi ito na yung huli natin sa indicator series natin. Uh, yeah, if you have a... You can always create a new account with Pafti. Walang problema. If you have an old account with XM, you want to create a new one with Pafti for the rebates. Yeah, there's no issue there. Gawa lang kay bago. Um... Okay, uh, if you went straight to XM and uh, you want to be under Pafti, you can open a new one. So, pwede kayo magbukas ng bagong account uh, under our link so that you get the $3 rebate. If you want to transfer funds between your accounts, madali lang yun. Pwede nyo lang i-internal transfer. Message nyo lang yung live chat. Tanong nyo na, paano ako mag-internal transfer? Coming from my account here, ita transfer dito sa bago. Uh, they'll, they'll help you. It's, it's very easy to do. Yung economic data through Telegram din ba? Um, no, it's actually a formal report. Ano, PDF file yun. Maganda tignan yun. <laughs> Malinis yun. <laughs> May effort yun. Uh, that's, that's all the love coming from, actually, majority nun si, yun eh. si Sir Alex Manabat. Diyaka si Alex Samson. Yun yung mabibigat mag-analyze ng economic data. Uh, wala bang fee yung pag-fund transfer from NT4 accounts? Wala, libre yun. Kasi internal transfer yun. Eh. Hindi mo naman nilabas yung pera. Alright. So I think that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you everyone. Salamat sa mga supporta nyo. Really appreciate